1991. This is the judges' questions, and in this bowl here are the names of all of our judges. Each finalist, in turn, will draw a judge's name and respond to a question which that judge has prepared and will ask her personally. Now, each young lady has 20 seconds to complete her answer, and as the judges vote to select the final three candidates, they'll consider not only the answers to these questions, they'll also be reminded by instant replay pictures of how each young lady looked earlier in the swimsuit and evening gown competition. She judges are ready, I'm sure. The ladies are awaiting. Miss Venezuela, please, por favor. To select the question, please. Uh, this question comes from judge number five, Barbara Lauren. Barbara, may I have your question, please? Hi. Uh, do you think it's really possible for a male-female relationship to be an equal partnership? ¿Tú crees que es verdaderamente posible que una relación entre un hombre y una mujer sea algo de igualdad? Igual. Igual. Sí, para mí sí, ya que yo creo que las mujeres también trabajamos, estudiamos y nos preparamos como el hombre. Claro, siempre en, por lo menos en alguna carrera o algo muy difícil, no, la mujer no lo podrá hacer. Pero yo creo que más difícil que tener un hijo y pasar por nueve meses, eso es bastante. Gracias. Yes. In my opinion, I believe that it can be because uh, women study, they prepare themselves, and they have jobs uh, like men do, although in a very hard job, a woman may not be able to. However, what is harder than having a child and raising one? You're remarkable. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. Jacqueline has dreamed of being Miss Universe since she was eight and saw Miss Venezuela win. She even practiced by running around the house in a little cape and crown. Thank you very much. Would you join the others? Miss Netherlands, would you come forward and pick a question from the bowl? Stir them up a little bit here, sir. This is from judge number six, Christoph. Christoph, may I have your question, please? Surely. If you thought someone were hiring you just for your looks, would you take the job? Just for your looks. Um... Well, it's about what kind of job it is. <laughs> if they give me a job like a designer, I can design my own, my own clothes. Well, I, th I think I will take advantage of that. And, um, and if I really need a job, uh, I will take it, may it probably too. But I will have a li limit. I mean, if they will touch me or something, I will say, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please wait. Pauline's family has been touring the United States in a car with a big sign that says, Pauline loves the USA. Now they're here, hoping the judges love her. Thank you very much. Please join the others. Miss USA, please come forward. Dig into the bowl. This question comes from uh, judge number eight, Nadia Komenich. Nadia, may we have your question, please? Yes. As more women become world leaders, what special qualities do you think they bring to their jobs? I think that the women of today, especially here now in the 90s, are extremely dedicated, very confident, and sure of themselves. And in order, I think it's very important to have those qualities uh, to carry off that confidence in no matter what type of job that they do. Thank you very much. Please wait just a moment. When Kelly won Miss USA, an F-15 fighter plane was named for her at McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas. I wonder what they'll do if she wins tonight. Thank you, Miss USA. Miss Jamaica is next, please. You take a question from the bowl. Uh, this one comes from uh, judge number four, Jorge Rivero. Jorge, may we have your question, please? If you had the opportunity to learn about your future, would you like to know? Would you like to know? No, no, I wouldn't. I like living my life day by day. I think it's more exciting and more challenging. It comes, my life comes naturally, and I'd like to live it that way, just day by day, and enjoy it each day as it comes. Thank you very much. Please wait just a moment. Kimberly says she's lived out of a suitcase working as a model. If she becomes Miss Universe, I don't think she'll mind traveling a bit more. Jamaica, thank you very much. Miss Mexico, please. Translator, please. Yeah. 
this question comes from uh, judge number one, Jose Luis Rodriguez. Jose, may we have the question, please? Everyone wants to be successful. How will you know when you're successful? We should translation. Well, I got the I got the question. Okay. Um, well, I think the thing we look most in life is being happy, and I think I will be successful when I'm happy. I'm happy right now, and I, I'm feeling successful in this moment. So, when you smile, when you give a hand to someone that needed, I think you are successful. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. Lupita says she's so busy that her idea of a romantic evening would be just to talk with her boyfriend. If she's busy now, imagine her schedule as Miss Universe. Thank you very much. Miss USSR, please. <laughs> Begin to the bowl. All right. This comes from uh, Judge Number Three. Ku Ladesma. Ku, may we have your question? What is the most important advice your mother ever gave to you? My mother never gave me uh, not important advice. She always gave me very important and very, very good advice. And she told me the most important advice. She told me that I have to do by everything. I have to try do everything in my life by myself. Otherwise, I will be nothing. And uh, I tried to do this, and you know. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. Julia says she loves Las Vegas, especially all the lights and all the money. She'll have lots of both if she becomes Miss Universe tonight. Thank you very much. Would you please join the other ladies? Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the judges' questions for our six finalists. First, there were 